guys were you picking up the telephone? And talk to a stranger? They can't understand you. It's a very frustrating to have to repeat everything you say. On occasion, you may question someone with a speech impairment. People with speech impairments are generally not intellectually impaired. Don't assume that because they speak slowly, they also think slowly. And I'm a little different. I speak, I'm sure to most people, very strange. And it gives a inaccurate view of who I am. Inaccurate view of my abilities and my intellect. It's frustrating a lot of times because you talk to people and they think you're drunk. 911, do you have an emergency? My daughter was in the house. I wish that she was right there and I, I turned around and she was gone. Sir, have you been drinking? I can't understand what you're saying. There are many reasons why someone's speech may be impaired. Stroke, injury, an accident or disease, surgery to the throat or mouth. It could be that the person has a lisp or stutters. Sometimes excitement, anxiety, fear, or anger can adversely affect a person's speech. If possible, calm the person before asking questions. Be patient. Listen carefully to what the person is saying and repeat what you think they've said if you are unsure. Don't interrupt or try to finish their sentences. Ask the person to repeat themselves if you don't understand, and if that doesn't help, ask them to rephrase their response. If that doesn't help, use pencil and paper. Don't pretend to understand what they're saying if you really don't. Don't speak in a louder than normal voice unless they ask you to, or environmental noise warrants it. Face to face for me has always been great because I can really Look into your eyes and see if they're really understanding me and listen to the sound of their voice. And then that lets me know, hey, this person really knows what I'm saying. <laughs> or this person is like just going, yeah, uh-huh. And they really, they really have no idea of, what I'm saying.